Hello there, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject I think is a good one, how to cover the ball through impact in golf. What does it mean to cover the shot? We'll show you what that is, how to do it, checkpoints and drills, etc. Kind of an important subject. Let's get started in just a moment. Very briefly, if you're new to the channel, maybe you've watched our videos, never subscribed, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Just hit the little red button there and also hit the bell. You'll be notified every time a new video is coming your way. Okay, what does it mean? This is an eight arm. What does it mean to cover the ball? What the phrase really means is I stay down over the ball through impact. There's a major pitfall on this. I'm gonna show you just a little bit later in the video how people conceive this, but in short, in simple terms, I don't get farther from the ground like that. I stay over it as I move through. And along with that, my hands are then more underneath my body, not out in front of me so much like that. Now this can look and should look by design a little bit different, whether you're hitting a short arm versus say, driver. Let's have a look at the pros. I'll show you how this looks briefly, show you those differences, then we'll get back outside. So Tiger Woods on the left hitting looks like a wedge and obviously a driver on the right. Let's have a look then. So as we mentioned, covering the ball, look at his upper body stay down over the ball. He's moving freely, but look at his upper body stay over the ball. So that is a pretty consistent sort of an angle there. And also notice, that, as we said, how underneath him his hands are. They're really beautiful position. When these hands are close to you, you have a lot of control of the club. You'll notice though, as we see some differences here between say wedge and driver, the hands form a pretty or take a pretty tight circle around him there with the wedge and with the driver. This camera angles off just a fraction, but it's good enough. More sling of the wrists, more space out here, club going that way a little bit more. So why would there be these subtle differences between, say, a short iron and a driver? It just depends what you're trying to do at impact. With a short iron, I'm trying to squeeze the ball off the turf, compress it against the club face a little bit. I'm also trying to get more of a correlation, let's say, between the, the body motion and the club in terms of squaring it up. Certainly the hands play a role in that, but I feel it more connected to my chest turn and less independent with the hands. A driver, of course, I'm trying to hit up on it, number one. I don't want to squeeze down into the tee. And secondly, I do want control, obviously, but it's more about speed. So by staying a little farther back and snapping my wrists more, you create a little bit more whip there at the bottom. Not trying to raise up or come out of the shot, but again, a little farther back, a little more snap in this fashion. Before we have a look at that pitfall, from this view, I just want to say we try to help you with your golf here at Scratch Golf Academy. Our app is free. It's got a lot of great tools that help you enjoy your game more. Go to, go to the App Store Scratch Golf Academy app, training tools, warm-up tools, warm-up routines, tempo trainer, green reading, etc., etc., putting tempo trainer. Hope you'll check that out, pick that up, help yourself out. Okay, let's have a look here. And a big misconception, I mentioned this earlier in the video, people tend to think that everything relates to the ball. And so how that translates in this thing, they think that the amount they're staying over it is always related to where the golf ball is. That is the wrong idea. How much you're staying over the ball, the amount of bend you have is always measured in relation to where your body is aiming. So a good image I think for you as you come down, hey, you're trying to keep this chest down or at least maintain its position, but you should be doing that while sweeping around. I like to Im imagine a big flashlight sticking off my chest, pointed on the ground it would make a circle more on the ground there, not arc up away from the ground. But if you just think staying down over the ball, you're probably going to stop your turn and it just won't give you good motion through the ball. Now let's talk a little bit more about if you're going to stay over the ball, what allows you not to hit it fat? What allows you not to start sticking the club in the ground? Big pitfall on that I'm going to show you in the final segment in just a moment from this view. You're going to want to know that because this will mess it up if you don't have that in your mind. But let's just say this, when you bend the trail wrist, you narrow the radius of the golf swing. You bend that, the club gets closer to you. So there needs to be a conjunction, if you like, between this sense of feeling snug in motion and a little bit of a bent trail wrist. I'm exaggerating it just a bit here. Those two things offset each other nicely. And like anything else, you gotta get a little feel for it. Let's do a little small shot here. Pitch one 30 or 40 yards like so. I could really see my, feel myself stay down in there. 
I could feel that key little bit of bend there that allows me to compress the ball well. Listen, the club is going to arc away from the ground a little bit, but if you've been a golfer that stands up and slaps at the ball, loses your ability to cover it, this is going to feel pretty snug to you. Let's check from here. Okay, big pitfall. The books have to balance. Now, I don't know much about finance, but even I know you can have quite a bit of credit card expenditures, but you better have some income as well. Now, here's how that relates to the golf swing in this context. If you're going to stay snug over the ball and cover it with your body like that, you can, that's it, that squeezes down on the ball. You cannot add to that steepness of swing. It's too much, swing gets too steep. So if you're one of these golfers and there are legions of them, club comes down too vertically, too much down at the ground there, you are either going to hit a bad shot or you're gonna to have to pull your arms in, or you're just gonna bail on it at the last minute and not be able to stay in the shot. So you have to balance the books. Good mental picture, I think. Just take this trail hand. I'm right-handed, this works for me. Picture a little bench here with some tape with some cups or something on it. If I wanted to stay down and sweep a whole lot of them off that bench, in other words, keep my right hand on the bench for a while, I don't need to be coming here and smashing cups. I need to be coming from the side of my body and wiping off the table like that. I promise you, you could, these, are, these things aren't that difficult to do. If you'll capture some of that magic of the mind, anybody could brush stuff off a table as, as I just demonstrated. Relax your mind, do it on a small scale. So here's my feel. That feels to me like the club's side of body. I can cover the ball. There we go right there, get the feel for it. This stuff isn't that difficult if you'll take the time to work through it, get a good clear mental picture. I hope that gives you some ideas on how to cover the ball through impact. What does it mean? You can really become a much, much more effective iron striker if you master this technique. Thanks again for watching.